What's going on YouTube? Come back at you with another video. Okay, so recently Mac10 did an interview. During the interview, the whole topic of West Side Connection breaking up came up. Mac10 pretty much equated the situation and the breakup to him having an altercation with Ice Cube's brother-in-law. So apparently Mac, from what Mac 10 is saying, he had been having an issue with Ice Cube's brother-in-law. He'd been coming to Ice Cube, trying to get the situation rectified. At some point, it went left. Mac 10 allegedly put hands on him, and that's what led to the downfall of West Side Connection. Well, after that whole situation, apparently Ice Cube was asked by some reporter or something like that, you know, what would it take to work with Mac-10 again? And Ice Cube had said something allegedly like, he needs to kiss my ring, something along those lines. So Mac-10 then was asked by Vlad about this situation. You know, what did he think about it? Vlad and Mac-10 both agree that it was weird, a weird statement to make. But Ice Cube is actually on Twitter right now, and he's denying that it ever happened. So I'm going to show you. So Ice Cube, you scroll down his timeline just a little bit. Somebody asked him right here, Fam, why are you being weird at Ice Cube? Why tell your mans to kiss your ring? Ice Cube responds, and he says, never happened. So according to Ice Cube, he never told Mac-10 to kiss his ring in order to, you know, make the group uh, work again. And Mac-10 actually, let me just clarify, he says that he didn't hear it directly from Ice Cube. Again, it was through a third party. So a third party allegedly told Mac-10, this is what Ice Cube had said, um, Mac-10 and Vlad both said it was weird. Now, Ice Cube being asked about the situation, he's saying it never happened. I don't know. This is one of those situations that seems kind of weird to me. Um, there was no anything else other than this fight between Mac-10 and Ice Cube's brother-in-law, which led to the downfall of West Side Connection, from my understanding. That was it. So, <clears throat> you know, how... This situation wasn't able to be worked through. It was kind of crazy to me. They were making good music. They were making a statement on the West Coast and worldwide. And they were really doing their thing. And then all of a sudden it just stopped. And it's like, I don't really see how this altercation just put an end to everything. This has been years. This has been 15, 20 years um, since that incident happened. At some point, it seems like they should have been able to rectify. Although, you know, I don't know any of the other business that goes on between them other than what Mac-10 was saying, that that was the only incident that they ever had, that was the only issue that they ever had, and that's what led to the downfall. So, interesting situation. Ice Cube denying that it ever happened. Um, Crazy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If Ice Cube did say, you know, ha that he needs to kiss his ring, what do you think about that? And what do you think about Ice Cube now saying that it never happened and actually denying that he ever made those statements? Leave some feedback. Hit the like, subscribe, share. Make sure you ring the notification bell, too, if you're subscribed. I appreciate you watching, though. Peace.